Maybe 19, no, maybe maybe 15. I do one song, but they don't play any hits. They play, you know, they play the music. They're playing fucking shit up that nobody knows. And me, we asked him, we said, like, how come? And he goes, well, Norwood makes the sets and he does what he wants. That's that thing. That's it. And I'm late for class. <laughs> When I show up to people's houses and people realize that I'm an Asian massage therapist, <laughs> <laughs> they automatically assume that I get happy endings. <laughs> yeah. Like, they think it's part of your Asian culture or something, like shaking hands. Jimmy, oh my god, it is so nice to meet you. Wow, your house is so big. And what if it's so This is the running portion of class, when you run to class. <laughs> Do you have $50? Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations, Professor <Pastor> Amy! <laughs> Self. Squirrels do not procrastinate. <laughs> <laughs> They get the nuts, they bring them back to the tree. They go get the nuts, they bring them back to the tree. Nuts tree, nuts tree. And then they squirrel free. <laughs> but then straight back to nuts, nuts tree, nuts tree, nuts tree. Last in the Scotland mother. Okay, I saw that movie and I said, this man is either the greatest actor of all time or a psychopath. And I, I think he's a psychopath because no one is that good. Okay? Except, except maybe Pierce Brosnan. Okay. <laughs> I hate playing charades. <laughs> Just tell us what the fuck it is. <laughs> Get that learning. Alright, don't worry. You can manifest your perfect man. Just make a list and put it under your pillow. And you're like, oh really? Oh, then why isn't George Clooney in my bed every night when I get home? Are you still making a movie? I love that. Am I in your movie now, Greg? No, I'm in your movie. No, 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 no. Yeah, you love anything that smells like a dryer sheet? Why? Isn't she hot? Doesn't she look sexy? Remember there being like some girl that like go away for a few months at a time and she'd come back and you'd find out she was in a mental hospital or whatever? <laughs> that was me! Like, you know, you want to be my girlfriend? Okay, great, great. All right, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. <laughs> hey, it's our 10th second anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's laughing. John, right in a You guys get better every time you go up. But just by virtue of doing it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you have to get that every time you make it to class and don't kind of go. Because every time you have to get up on stage, whether it's class or there's a little part of your brain that goes, I'm just not going to go. Right? A little bit for many of us. You just kind of go, oh God, I'm not feeling it tonight. I got a little cold. But that, every time you go up, 
you expand, you feel, you know what I mean? You feel the edges of the stage, you learn your instrument, you get, you get one laugh that you learned how to get a laugh that way. You know what I mean? That's why stage time is just so important, especially in class. That's so, how I get my shits and giggles from being in front of people. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, so even when it's a hard night, thank yourself for going up on stage. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. What is anything in particular that you see that Beth does well? What does she guess? Just, um, I love it, how she takes time to feel it. Like what she's saying. There's one time where she just stopped and went, uh, <laughs> and it was so funny. And she was like, I didn't know what she was going to talk about, but I, like that was, it was so funny. Yeah. <laughs>